Right, hi guys, and welcome back to another week of Zoom into Church! Woohoo! Woo! <laughs> As you can tell by that scream, I'm back here with Hannah again. Another week, another load of challenges to do, another Bible story to do, another craft to do. Well, actually, our challenge is a bit crafty, but we'll get back to that later. Um, <laughs> yeah, so obviously... Oh. Ooh, it's great to be with you. It's great to be in the warmth because, as we all know, this week has been freezing. Oh, and so it, hasn't, cold. it hasn't come with all the snow that I thought was coming. So I'm a bit gutted. But um, yeah, it's been cold. <laughs> so we hope you're nice and warm in front of a screen somewhere, enjoying maybe a drink or snack or anything. We hope you're enjoying yourself anyway. Right, should we get into the challenge? Yeah, come on. Lovely. This is our week. So, this week, our challenge is being introduced by Grace from Headingley, little Grace. So, it will be great to have her on, and we'll head over to her now. This week's challenge is to see who can make the fastest animal puppet like what my owl puppet, which is very cute. See you soon, Hannah and Gideon. Hope Hannah wins, and... I'll be cheering you on, Hannah. Bye-bye. Oh, Grace, that was so lovely. Good, did you see the posters in the background? Do you know what they said? They said, go, go, Hannah. That was so sweet. Thank you, Grace, so much for doing that. I really appreciate that. I, oh, and really? It's so lovely. So Grace, lovely to see as... different faces. <laughs> As much as I love you, Grace, and I can't wait to see you. <laughs> I'm not happy. <laughs> Just for that, I'm going to put an extra effort to win this week. <laughs> Although, I think, I think we've got it quite hard to beat um, beat her puppet because that that looked pretty cool. Yeah. I don't think mine's going to look anywhere near as good as that. So I think you're our only hope here, Hannah. Um, yeah, All right, let, well, I, I would just like, like to got, make the disclaimer, I've never sewed in my life, so <laughs> I'm going to be horrendous at this. <laughs> I was I was chatting to him beforehand, I'm helping him set it up, and, he was, and I was like, we're not doing a running stitch, we've got to do like a loopy stitch, and he was like, what's a running stitch? <laughs> like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> It's what family well, members are to, to, <laughs> to help ourselves out, we've we've start we've made a knot in the end, and we've put our thread through the first loop, and we've threaded our needle. So we're ready to go. Are you ready, good? Go on then. <laughs> Cue the music on your marks. Get set. Go. Okay. Ah, what have I just done? I feel like this is going to be our longest challenge ever. Right, so then that goes like that again. I've already messed it up. Oh no, I haven't. Already? How could you I haven't, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't. I actually haven't. I, I just haven't pulled it through. I have, unfortunately though, my thread has come out. There we go. Did it come out the needle? Yeah. You were... Hold it, you have to do it really... Uh, pull it through and then keep hold of it. What have I done here then? <laughs> oh, I've had a mare. I don't know what I've done. Let me oh. have a look at it. No, I'm, I'm going. I'm, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm oh, through right. two holes. <laughs> Three two holes. I'm nearly on the arm. What? You look quite confident about this challenge. I'm not surprised. So we've got to thread right round the whole of this. And then we've also got the stickers to put on at the end, so... You know, I might, I'm not going to lie, my stickers um, are falling on the floor. 
<laughs> so I'm gonna have a mad scramble to pick up all my stickers. <laughs> Where are you up to? I'm going around the arm. Oh, okay. I'm I'm doing the same. Look, okay. Oh, okay. You're you're about two holes ahead of me. Oh, is that it? Oh my! I need to hurry up then. Yeah, I'm where you were now. I figured out mm -hmm. how to speed up the process. <laughs> you just yank, oh, it, yeah. yank it through and hope. <laughs> it seems to work. <laughs> okay, that goes to that. Do you fancy doing this at home? I bought these on Amazon. Did you? Yeah. Well, they're, I might get these for the nephew. I think they're worth it. They look well so unsatisfying, can I say. Mm. Oh, this, these little corner bits are well weird. Yeah, I've just gone through it. On the head. Are you on the on head? The head son. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know what you mean by the head now. Disgrace my whole family if I don't want this. I mean, I'm from a family of sewers. <laughs> I come from a family of sports people. <laughs> That's, this is not. This is not my cup of tea. I think. I think we all we can see that here from your excitement and competitiveness every week. Oh, you should be. You should be at. Um, Family, family games times on Sundays. It's oh. uh, it, it often ends in anger. It often ends in us not speaking for the rest of the week. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm nearly on my second year. What? How quick are you going? So quick, man. I want this point. Oh, it does get quicker now that you uh, feed it through, and there's less. Ah, uh, oh yeah, this was the one. I think I, I think I just have to miss it. What? Nah, 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 nah. You don't miss any holes. There's a hole. There's a hole that isn't been hasn't been punched through. It's a mechanical issue. Nah, you need to punch that through. No, it's not going to go through. Oh, it's gone through. It's gone through. It's gone through. It's gone through. Oh, I've lost my needle. <laughs> this is tiring. Oh, no, this could be it. I have to. Oh, no. I've gone back and I have to. Have you? This is giving me some hope. This could be it, Gib. This could be you winning. No, it's not. I'm, de I'm definitely not winning. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Oh, this is tiring, can I say. Okay, I'm back, I'm, in, go. I'm back in the game. Back in the game. Ah, come on. Ah! Come on, Han. Come on, Han. Don't lose. You cannot lose. T oh no, my needle. Oh, yeah, all right. Okay, finish the second year. Have you actually? Yeah, where are you? Not. I'm on the second year, but I've not finished it. Oh, yes, I'm on the second I've had to thread my needle twice. <laughs> the wall is so long. Yep. I swear it doesn't need to be this long. Nope. I don't know that, I need it shorter. 
I mean, by the way, there's going to be a huge dangly bit off the end of mine because there's going to be too much wool, and I don't have any scissors. That's all right. That's all right. That can be done afterwards. Okay, I'm on the arm. I'm on the arm. Where are you, Gid? I might keep that quiet. I'm just a little bit behind. Let's put it that way. <laughs> I'm really scared that he's going to be here. You should not be. I'm not understanding where my thread is. Oh, oh that's, that's because that's coming through there. That's fine. I need that out of the way. You hey, should... little stickers to do. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Catch me up on the stickers. I definitely will. Where is your competitiveness this week, Gabe? <laughs> So it, it, it's, uh, it, it went as soon as you told me we were sewing a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> I've had to thread my needle for the third time. Oh, this one's taking a while as well. Okay, make one up. Have you finished? Yeah. On the stickers! Woohoo! Good for you! Look, he looks like a badger now! Woohoo! Good. Get some eyes on him. Have you pe had you pre-peeled the stickers? No. Okay, good. Cause Had you? No. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> um. This is well tight. <laughs> I've had, to thread my I've had to thread my needle four times. <laughs> I'm never going to be. Did you knot it at the end? Yeah. Okay. I just sort of went through the last hole a couple of times. Oh, that's a good idea. Okay. Ah, get the off. Oh, I don't know what mine looks like. <coughs> You've not got access to your picture? No, because it's on my phone. These do not peel. No, not, not the Right, I've got one more part to do. I'm done. Really? Oh, damn. Yeah. One finger. Yeah, you're done. <laughs> you beat me. Two fingers. <laughs> So funny. Three what? fingers! There we go. Uh, I think it goes that way. Badger, badger, badger! Have you done it? Good. Where you up to, good? Let's see. I'm here. Nice, nice. I don't remember how the paws look. 
the, the, look, here you go. Here. There we go, lovely. Have a look at mine. Have a <laughs> look at, you know. <laughs> Oh, I've, done my I've lost one of my paws. <laughs> oh, it's there. Ugh. It's quite cute. I like my little badger. Do you might find a, I need... What? How do you peel? You might find I need a badger in an upcoming all age talk here. Anyway. Oh. Well, while Gid continues to finish his puppet... It's happening again. And then he's like, <laughs> he's going to want to continue doing this. Yes, um, I, I like to finish things off. <laughs> why, why don't I adjust the score on the board? What's this? So that it oh, balances. I haven't put the ear on. <laughs> you got to show us when you're done, Gid. I will. Score on the board. I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed because Grace was right. Six. <laughs> Thanks, Grace, for the encouragement. I'm sure it's that that helped me win. It probably um, did, yes. Not, not, not at all my, my A-level in textiles. Wait, you have an A-level in textiles? <laughs> this is so unfair. <laughs> Oh, I've been absolutely conned out of this game. <laughs> you know what? Next week, we're going to play a tennis match, and that's what we're going to do. <laughs> I feel cheated. All right. Well, this week, we um, are continuing our theme of the book of Samuel, and um, the, the storyline this week takes us... Um, Beyond Saul. So last week they chose Saul and Saul was okay for a while and then he disobeyed God and God no longer saw him as the chosen king. And so God had to choose another king. And so that is a story that we're going to read today. And the story in our book is called How to Choose a King. It says this, year after year, Samuel passed God's messages on to God's people. Year after year, they listened. But then one year, they gave Samuel a message to take back to God. All the countries around us have kings, the people said. Tell God that we want a king too. When Samuel heard this, he was not happy and neither was God. He was meant to be the king of people, of his people. But they are not rejecting you, God said to Samuel. They are rejecting us, They're rejecting me. Let them have what they want, but to be sure, tell them what it means. So Samuel did. A king will turn your sons into soldiers, he told the people, and your daughters into servants. He will take a tenth of everything you have and use money to pay off his officials. He will lead you into war. The people, however, were determined to have their way. So Samuel found a man named Saul, handsome, strong and tall, taller than anyone else in the land, in fact, which meant that people were forced to look up to him, which made him seem very kingly indeed. Samuel made him king over Israel by pouring oil over his head, a sign that God's spirit had been given to him and was working through him. And for a while, Saul let God's, God's spirit do exactly that. But the problem with being handsome and strong and tall sometimes is that it doesn't take long before you start relying on your own strength and power to get things done. And that's what happened to really tall Saul. He did things his own way. He stopped listening to Samuel and worst of all, he disobeyed God. So God told Samuel to find someone else to be king, someone smaller. Preferably, though God didn't make that clear to Samuel, not at first anyway. God did send him to Bethlehem, though to the home of a man called Jesse, Ruth's grandson. One of his sons is the new king, God told Samuel. Seven sons stood with Jesse the prophet, when the prophet arrived. 
So Samuel took a good look at each of them. The first son, tall, handsome Eliab, seemed promising. He looks very kingly, thought Samuel, but God had a different idea. We've been here before, he whispered to the prophet. I'm not interested in his height or his good looks or anything to do with his appearance. I have already rejected him. I'm interested in what's going on in his heart. One by one, Jesse's son paraded before the prophet, but God said no to each of them too. You don't um, have, happen to have any more sons, do you? asked Samuel. As a matter of fact, I do, Jesse replied. David, uh, the youngest, is out in the fields watching the sheep. The boy was sent for, and Samuel knew the moment he saw him that David was the smaller, younger, better. He thought the prophet, as the penny dropped. Someone who will need to trust God and who won't try to rule on his own. So Samuel poured the oil on David's head. God's spirit rushed on the boy, and even though they didn't know it yet, the people of Israel had a brand new king. Yay! <laughs> and Gideon had a brand new puppet. <laughs> <coughs> Very good. Now, thank you for that, Hannah. That was great. We are going to do a Bible race because Hannah wants to get to 6 4 by the end of the day. And I'm trying to stop it from happening. <laughs> so, we will shut our Bibles. I have one in, but I, it's not in. It's, it's later on in the Bible. <laughs> um, so, we are looking for 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse 7. Now, we have been in Samuel for the past few weeks now. So... It should be easy to find because you've got a little bit of practice in finding this part of the Bible. So as we say, it's towards the front, but it's not directly at the front of the Bible. Right, Hannah, are you ready? I am ready. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Go. There! Oh no, I'm in sickness. Yeah, boy! I'm there! <laughs> no! Come on, I'm keeping that addition. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, we've had a turnaround. Yeah. You're winning the challenges and I'm winning the Bible races. <laughs> well done, good. I'm, I'm very happy. Right. Well, at, least my, at least my score is going up. It you know, is going like... up. It's last it's staying year. it's staying closer than it did last time. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I'm I'm happy. It's a positive. Um, right, would you like to read it? Yeah. But the Lord said to Samuel, Don't judge by his appearance or height, for I have rejected him. The Lord doesn't see things the way you see them. People judge by outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. And for our craft today, we have um, our, a harp because David is known for being um, someone who wrote a lot of the Psalms in the Bible um, and he sung songs and he could play. It's not it's not called a harp. It's called a, I'm not sure how to pronounce it actually, a, a lyra or a lyra. Um, someone else will tell me how it's pronounced, hopefully. Um, but it's pretty much a harp. And so we have a harp here. Um, where David isn't, and then when I pull it, whichever way I'm supposed to pull it, that way, that way, David appears on our harp. Because if we read further on in this chapter, we hear that actually David was chosen by Saul to play the harp because David uh, Saul was getting a bit um, was getting tormented by some of the spirits, and the harp when David was playing soothed his soul. And so that is why David appears on our harp. And we're going to find out a little bit more about David next week. And there might be a big old stomping giant 
that goes alongside it. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> now, Hannah, where, um, where, what, what, where can they send their craft in? I don't know where my words went then. Uh, yeah, how can they send them in? If you guys want to get in touch with us, if you've got a craft or you have an idea or you want to uh, fantastically lead one of our challenges like Grace did this week, the place to send all your information to is children at cbcl.org.uk you lot are lucky because you get to hear it through a screen. I have to hear that in my ears. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. Amazing. Um, Would you like me to pray? Will you pray for... Yeah, go for it, kid. Lovely. Yeah, dear Father, um, we just thank you that you don't look at our outward appearance. You don't look at how big, how strong, how anything we are. You look inside at the true person. Um, you look at how great we can be, the goodness that we can hold, and you lead us in great direction. Yeah, we just pray that you'll be with us all now. Um, yeah, we pray that you'll be with us for this whole Sunday. You'll be with us in the service that we can all enjoy together. We just pray that you'll watch over us now and you'll help us into this next week, into half term. We pray that you'll help the kids to find some fun things to do. Um, yeah, whatever that may look like in this current climate, we just pray that you'll uh, keep them all safe, keep them all happy and give them enjoyment in whatever they end up doing. In Jesus' name. Uh, 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 <laughs> 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 just lost her camera. So I think that probably means we need to end. <laughs> so... We will see you all later. <laughs> Bye. 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 <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh dear. Right. <laughs>